Hello everyone, I am Soumya and welcome to the channel Soumya Tutorials. Today we will discuss the topic Cloud Computing in BCA 6th Semester Syllabus. The chapter name Cloud Computing Fundamentals. First let me know about the introduction of Cloud Computing. Cloud Computing is a combination of two words like Cloud and computing. Let us understand both the terms individually. First one is cloud. Cloud is just the internet because on the internet we use the different types of services like database, storage, networking, application and server also. So this is the cloud. Then computing. Computing is a data processing storage over the internet so this is called computing when we combine both the words cloud and computing then it becomes a cloud computing so it is basically a use of a different types of services over the internet by individuals or by organizations or by computing devices over the internet so this is the cloud computing let us take some examples of cloud computing we use a google drive we all use a google drive for storing a lots of data for storing your photos for storing your videos so we use a google drive then one more example play store we all know the play store play store is used for a different types of applications we can access different types of applications or different types of softwares or we can access the different types of an online games. So all are stored in the Play Store. So this is the one more examples. So here is the diagrammatic representation of a cloud computing. So here definitions of what is a cloud what is a cloud computing? The cloud refers to the servers that are all accessed over the internet and the software and databases that runs on those servers. The cloud servers are located in data centers all over the world. This we can call it as the cloud. Then what is a cloud computing? The cloud computer is a computing style in which software and the databases runs on the remote servers that are accessed over the internet instead of running on the local user devices. This we can call it as the cloud computing. So here also the diagrammatic representation of what is a cloud. This diagram it consisting of user devices and the cloud. The user devices the data can be accessed via the internet so that the cloud enables the user to access the same files and applications from almost any device because the computing and storage takes place on the servers in the data centers instead of locally on the user device. This is why a user can log into their Instagram account on the new phone after their old phone breaks and still find their the old account in the place with their all the photos and videos and the conversation history etc. It works the same way with the cloud email providers like a Gmail or a Microsoft Office and with the cloud storage providers like Dropbox or a Google Drive. Then already I told the definition of a com cloud computing. So once again I'll repeat cloud computing means storing and accessing the data and programs on remote servers that are hosted on the internet instead of computer hard drive or any local server. So this is also called as internet based computing. These are all the different computing paradigms. So different computing paradigms it consisting of an, the number of phases. 
it contains the phase 1 is mainframe computing phase 2 is on pc computing phase 3 is on network computing phase 4 is on internet computing phase 5 is on grid computing phase 6 is on cloud computing in phase 1 many users shared a powerful mainframe using the some of the dummy terminals in phase 2 the pc computing here the standalone PCs become very powerful enough to meet the majority of the user needs. In the phase 3, the network computing, here it consisting of uh, the PCs, laptops and servers were connected together through local networks to share uh, resources and increase the performance. In phase 4, the local networks were connected to other local networks for forming a global networks such as the internet to utilize remote applications and the resources this we can call it as the internet computing and the phase 5 is the grid computing it provides a shared computing power and storage through a distributed computing at the last the cloud computing you already know the concept of the cloud computing so that the cloud computing means the storing and accessing the data and programs on the remote servers that are all hosted on the internet instead of the computer hard drive or a local server so this we can call it as the computing or a cloud computing thank you